Victoria, can you talk a little bit more about the, the VC world in particular? Mm -hmm. and, you know, Jean talked earlier about the 2.2% of VC funding going to women-led companies. And it, I, uh, last night's point oh 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 six to um, uh, women of color founders, black, black and Latina. Mm -hmm. which point is, oh 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 six. Yeah, which barely mm -hmm. even registers on yeah. the on the scale. Yeah. So can you can you give a little bit more color in, into that um, that and also what asked how Astia is, is trying to change that dialogue yeah. not just specifically how you you know support the women entrepreneurs mm -hmm. but what you're doing proactively in the community yeah well I'll start with that I mean one of the things we always say is don't don't fix the women don't we don't need to fix the women we need to fix the ecosystem um, and so network is really what we're focused on that. Networks still divide along gender so so much and and by socioeconomic status and by race, but we're really focused on this gender um, divide in the networks and really focused on making sure that our network brings men and women together to the table. Um, so our our angel group is about half men, half women. Um, and when we do events, we're making sure that we're doing our best to appeal to men and women um, because it really is about, tapping into to those people you otherwise couldn't tap into and something you brought up or I think has been brought up a couple times is also opening the door for somebody you know if, if you if you are able to get into the room bringing somebody who can't get into the room is so important one of our entrepreneurs was talking about that the other day about how you know that's what made the difference to him he's a uh, he, the, he, the CEO of this company is a male he's a black male um, and then the, his uh, one of the other co-founders is a woman which is why it qualifies for Astia. And he talked about, um, you know, how, what was it, were you in the meeting with Derek where he said it was, it was he, he had an expression for it was um, helping flag the taxi cab. And he said that, that he would tell his advisors, look, you can get into these meetings, so bring me, make sure I'm there with you. And um, I think that's really important for, for us all to do is open the door. If you can open the door, open it for somebody who can't. So that's what we're doing. At, you know, with the VC community, <laughs> um, you know, I, what I hear is that things have actually gotten a bit worse, that there's almost a, a backlash happening because of all of the, the Me Too movement and the press, and that it sounds like things are maybe going a little backwards right now in Silicon Valley. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm, we're just doing what we can to keep forging ahead. And I, do, I completely agree that, you know, we need the women to, to have these huge successes. They need to get the big funding so they can have the big exits um, before we really start to change attitudes. Yeah, and just, you know, that whole concept of network in, in play, we were, we were actually standing, uh, you know, before we, we started the film, just chatting amongst us. And we were like, oh, I want to introduce you to this person, and oh yeah, let's go, let's do that, let's follow up on, and that was just a five-minute dialogue. We, you know, I knew, um, you know, Victoria, but the rest of us had just met for the first time. So the power of that network is is not to be underestimated, and each one of you in this room represent a network, or two or three that you can engage and help. Uh, others engage in. So that's a very powerful statement. I, I think, Jenny, you, you um, summarized that really well. I don't know if you want to talk about the comments you made about uh, the power of one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what comment it, it, it was. Profound. <laughs> <laughs> it was profound. Well, no, you yeah. talked about the divide. We're divided. Oh, yeah, the, the divide. I mean, yeah. I just think that there's, there's, there's power numbers, and I, I also was, was um, Pollyanna that I've been watching The Handmaid's Tale, and um, <laughs> I'm obsessed with it at the moment. And uh, and it, it really comes out starkly there how um, when you come together, they, they can they can make some change happen, and when you don't, um, they're very they're very alone and very divided. So I think uh, you know one of the things that I've talked about in growing up in the world of, of high tech, I, I always hated this concept of identifying as being different because I was a woman, and so sort of really fought that. Didn't used to speak about it and didn't used to represent at all, but also talked about the concept of sort of getting the high heel in the face. Um, and there's nothing more that, that really turned me off than a woman who was in a successful position who uh, shut the door and said, I got here, go away, this is mine. Um, and so I've, I, I really made a, I decided that it really did matter, like watching little girls, uh, you know, having little girls come up to me and say, how did you do that, like how did you, how did you do that math? You know, and I did that math because my high school math teacher told me that girls couldn't do math and I'd fail. 
Um, and I said, F that. Um, right. But a lot of little girls won't say that. And so I realized that it does make a difference. And so I have made it, you know, uh, something that's important to, if someone asks, I, I, will, I will always respond. I will always reach out, especially if it's, if it's a woman. And so that uh, Techstars is built on the ethos of, of Give First, and we really live that. And I think it's critical. If we're all going to succeed, we have to stay together. We just cannot divide each other. Yeah. So, go ahead, Suma. Uh, I was going to say, um, I thought something that was interesting in Nora's film is, uh, and resonated with me, I feel that as women um, or any under underrepresented group, um, there's this feeling that beyond the product, beyond the technology, beyond the companies, it's how can we serve as examples um, to others. Um, and maybe, you know, men feel that way too, but I feel like it, every single person I speak to is like, we are doing this almost 50% so that we can move the needle forward. That, like, my dream is to invest in other, you know, underrepresented communities and arts and companies and things like that. Um, and on the networking thing, I just wanted to sort of share my experience where um, the reason I even was able to get into tech was by joining Lesbian 2 Tech, right, which is this really powerful network um, that allowed me to like meet Aileen Lee, right, um, and other people, um, you know, the CEO of Salesforce and things like that, um, and founded a group called Women Who Hardware, where because of that connection met, you know, a future manufacturer and things like that. And so if it's not happening, just found it yourself, um, you know, is, is what many of the people in this room should just do, um, because you can just make it happen yourself. <laughs>